Sarah Kaywood, yes. it's time for your holy moly interrogation. <laughs> I've got some crap cards as well. When was the last time you used a fork in an unorthodox way? I ate a Caesar salad on a train yesterday. That's very orthodox. Oh, it's on a train though. A fork in an orthodox... Um, I probably, I, you know, I, I pierced the top of, a, of um, my washing up liquid. You know, the rubber bit you need to put, I used a fork for that. That's pretty good, good answer, good answer. <laughs> I had to um, clear out some pubes from my shower this morning Did and I used a fork and that's what made me think of it. That's really grim because that fork is, even though it's going to get washed, that's going to go in someone's mouth again at some point. What's your favourite element of the periodic table? Uh, platinum. Have you ever looked fear in the eye? Uh, yeah. <laughs> what colour were its eyes? Black as night. When was that? Um, probably when I was jumping off something very high for CBBC. When was the last time you ate something produced by the human body? Ooh, probably a bogey, mm. I would think. When? When? Oh, I don't know, in the last month or so. Do you, are you a bogey eater? Everyone is, and I don't believe anybody who denies I it. I used to as a child, I used to quite, quite like it, what but I've grown out of it now? now. I flick them. Well, that's really gross. At least I put them where nobody else is going to sit in them. What is it about a man that makes you go... Oh Christ, it doesn't take much. <laughs> really? Uh, knowledge, intelligence, and a good sense of humour. Okay, that's three things. I just wanted one, but you yeah. can have them. You're greedy. Okay, thank you. What does the future hold? Uh, oh, as little as possible, hopefully. <laughs> Fair <laughs> I'm enough. It's <just> really lazy. <laughs> have you ever injured an animal? Probably by accident. What but was not it? willingly. Uh, well, actually, at my sister's the other day, um, we had to feed a newborn calf and my sister fed it over the barn wall to me and I dropped it because it was so big so I might have hurt the baby calf then it only been out of its mother's womb for about half an hour who's your car insurance with um mini insurance the driver mini what what about what happened to diamond what do you know how expensive they are and they never gave me free car insurance I'm not condoning diamond but they employed you yeah for a year you promoted now... them and you, you've changed track now well, Sarah I'm off contract I'm not going to go, but, she, they, you know, Sheila's wheels have probably outstripped them now, anyway. Are you saying you lied to us when you told us to go and get diamond no, car insurance? at that point, I did have diamond car insurance, and I had it for about three years. And then a quote came back when I got my first Mini, and it was really expensive, because it was my first new car. I was like, that can't be right. So I got a quote for Mini insurance, because obviously Mini were trying to give me the whole package, and it was half the price. And F I Fuck you, Diamond. So I, You've yeah. lost Kaywood now. Well, yeah, I, I rang Diamond, and I said, I'm leaving. They said, why? And I went, because I found a quote that's half... The price, can you match it? They were like, no, sorry. I went, all right, then see ya. That's outrageous. Mm, don't go with diamond either. Well, I think it's expensive. That's <laughs> only my opinion. We should intercut that with you doing the diamond advert. <laughs> yeah.